Hi, so we're going to be integrating cotangent to the fifth of x, but with the sine cosine method. So first thing we're going to do is split the cotangent to the fifth into cosine to the fifth divided by sine to the fifth. And then we're going to take one of these cosine to the fifths and bring it out and have cosine to the fourth x over sine to the fifth x times cosine x dx. And this is for the u substitution that we're going to do a little later. Um, we can use the identity for cosine squared of x, since this cosine to the fourth of x is cosine squared squared. And we can have, with it, which is equal to 1 minus sine squared of x. And since it's cosine squared squared, we square that result. So we get 1 minus sine squared of x all squared. That's still divided by sine to the fifth of x. And we multiply by cosine x dx. And now we're going to uh, distribute or FOIL this out. So we get 1 minus 2 sine squared x plus sine to the fourth of x. That's all over sine to the fifth of x and times cosine x dx. And so since this term, th this big term here is only in terms of sine of x, we can use a u substitution where u equals sine of x and du equals cosine x dx. And you can see that cosine x dx is our du right here. So if we plug it in back up up here, we get 1 minus 2u squared plus u to the fourth all over u to the fifth du. And then we can split the fraction and bring all the u's to the top in terms of negative powers. So 1 over u to the fifth is the same as u to the negative fifth. 2u squared over u to the fifth is the same as 2u to the negative third. And we're going to leave this as 1 over u. Um, and now when we integrate, we're going to add 1 here plus 1, and that turns out to be negative 4. And so we multiply by 1 over negative 4. For this, we add 1. We get negative 2, and we divide by negative 2. And this is equal to natural log of the absolute value of u. Yeah, so we can do our integration, and we end up with um, negative 1 over 4u to the fourth, because we can bring the negative power down to the denominator and make it a positive power, um, plus 1 over u squared, because the negative 2s cancel, plus natural log of u. Um, if we substitute the sine of x in for u, we get negative 1 over 4 sine to the fourth of x, um, plus 1 over sine squared x, plus natural log of the absolute value of sine of x. And last, we can bring the sines up to the top and make them cosecant. And our final answer is negative 1 fourth cosecant to the fourth of x plus cosecant squared of x plus natural log of sine of x uh, plus c because it's an indefinite integral. And this is different from the previous result. The previous result was in terms of cotangents. And I'll leave it to you um, to prove that these are identical expressions only off by a constant using trigonometry. That's it. Hi guys, I hope you liked the video and the series of the cotangent integrals of the cotangent powers of x. Like and subscribe and comment if you have questions and I'll try to answer them at some point in the future. Thanks for watching.